Hi guys. Let me get my chat up here. Glad you're here. Ooh, wrong thing. Too many little tabs open here. There we go. <laughs> Glad you're here today. Uh, sorry I missed last week. Things just got a little crazy. I wasn't able to get on live last week, but I'm here today. Today was a little crazy too. As uh, If any of you are demonstrators, you know what today is. We were able to start um, signing up for our onstage local and um, think they actually have one in Indianapolis, Indiana. There hasn't been one. I'm thinking there was one the year I signed up and it was too late for me to be able to go because I think it was right when I signed up. I signed in April of 2003. So that was the last time they were in Indy. Really excited it's an Indy this year. So I'm going to be going to that in November. Got all signed up before it fills up because I have a funny feeling a lot of us have been hoping of being in Indianapolis again or wanting to come. So I think it's going to fill quick. <laughs> Uh, oh, hi, Lois. Glad you're here from North Florida. You having good weather down there? It's a little rainy here in Indiana, but we needed it, though. Thank you. We had a drought most of the summer. The last couple, oh, maybe a couple weeks, we've had some good downpours, so I think we're starting to get out of it now. Thankfully, I'm glad. Our grass is starting to look green again. Okay. Oh, hi, Ann from Arizona. Glad you're here. Oh, hi, Debbie over on Facebook. I'm glad you guys are all here. I love it when you comment that way. I know you're here. And I do do door prizes. I would love to give door prizes out. Oh, hi, Sophie from Belgium. Wow, you're way far away, aren't you? Thanks for coming. I really appreciate it. Um, I did want to let you know, I wish I could give door prizes, put everybody that's watching the video into the door prize uh, drawing. But I don't know who was on unless you comment. So if you do want to get a door prize, just say hi or just do a little comment. That way I'll know you're here and I can get you added to the door prize. Okay. Now I'm going to hurry up and show you the door prizes for everybody that watched uh, the live and the recording. So let me switch to that and then I'll tell you what the one, those of you that are watching the live right now will, uh, can get in a drawing for. These were from last week. So everybody that watched it live and watched the recording and commented, <laughs> Got put in the drawing. Oh, hi, Mary Jo from Ohio. My mom's from Ohio. <laughs> she was born in Dayton and lived in a bunch of different uh, little towns in Ohio before she moved here. Um, let's see here. Oh, I got sidetracked. <laughs> okay, so these were the ones that uh, I'd made, uh, well, actually two weeks ago, not last week. I did alternatives to the uh, July paper pumpkin. Now, I'm going to switch pictures here. Those of you that watched my lives before know something strange happens for just a second. <laughs> I've got to switch cameras and then hurry up and get over here and then make this big. So that way we can see the spinner. There we go. I wish there was a way I could do that without that little stuff in the middle, but that's okay. I put everybody's names in that watch the live and um, also watch the uh, recordings, except for the one who won during the live last week. You can only uh, win one uh, prize per uh, live video. And I'm sorry, I have to limit this to just people in the U.S. I'd love to be able to do it for everybody, but I can only do uh, door prizes for people in the U.S. So thanks for letting me know that uh, where you live. And I'll go ahead and click on this and let's see who wins. Oh, Barbie Trier. That's actually one of my local gals. Congratulations, Barbie. I don't know if you're watching right now, but I'll make sure I get that for you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get out of here. We'll see something a little strange here for a second again. So I got to get back on here and let's go right back to, let's go to me this time. <laughs> there we go. Didn't mean to stay on that that long. So Barbie, congratulations. So I will hold these for you next time you come to my house for a stamp camp. Okay, let me get those over to the side. Now I want to show you what you'll win watching live. So those of you that come in that live in the U.S., I'm going to uh, add you to the list to win this. Now, this is something I offered, oh, three weeks ago, I think. I never did hear back from the person who I drew, and she hasn't been on a live since. So I want to uh, put this back out there. These are old. They were retired, I mean. Brand new because they've never been opened, and I don't want to open them to show you, but they've got a lot of different colors. You can see the sequins are flower-shaped and then regular sequins. They were called the Gingham Gala Adhesive Back Sequence, so they've got adhesive to them. So everybody that lives in the United States and comments during the live will get put in the drawing. And what I'll do, I can't tell the winner during the live because i got to be able to add everybody's names into the live. I mean, into the wheel, I mean. So I will do that as soon as the video is over. I'll add everybody's names that watched live. 
And then I will come back in about 15, 20 minutes and put a comment on Facebook and also a comment in my communities tab on my YouTube channel and uh, announce the winner. So make sure you come back when the live's over to see if you won. And if you did, you need to uh, either click the comment me link uh, below in the video description or if you're on Facebook, you can just message me on Facebook. Okay, let's get going. Oh, do you love, I like sequins too, Debbie. They're, there for a while, I didn't know exactly what to do with them, but I'm getting better at them. And I really like those because I love the flower shapes on them. Okay, we've got, let me get my chat. Well, let's go ahead and switch cameras. We'll get off of me. I'm going to switch cameras and we are going to, uh, I'm going to show you some papers. I need to get some, at the beginning, I always like to try to give more people time to get on here. Oh, I've got a lot more people on YouTube popped up. Let's see. Oh, 90s in Florida. Yep. I bet it's hot. I think everybody's hot around here. We were, um, I know we had a heat index of over 100 degrees yesterday. It's miserable out. Oh, hi, Margaret. Glad you could come today. And Elizabeth. Oh, hi, Liz. And Audrey from Rhode Island. Thank you. And Sherry from Sacramento. Oh, we've got everybody from everybody. Nancy from Oklahoma. Patty from Delaware. And oh, there's just a lot of people. And I've already mentioned you. I'm so glad you guys are all here. So I'm going to what I like to do, I'm going to show you, every once in a while, I will show you some papers. Now, I'm going to be using the papers I'm going to show you, the ones I'm uh, going to be making the cards with. So I'm just going to show you these real quick. This I knew I wanted to show you. Now, it does. they do come in 12 by 12 sheets. This is actually all I have left in my pack. But it's the silver uh, foil specialty pack. And to me, these almost look purpley, but they are silver. They definitely are. It comes in mirror, so I think that's the mirror finish. This is the brushed finish. It has a little texture to it. I think you can see that. And then the matte. And I'm going to be using this on my um, first card. But I want to show you these because if you place a $50 order before shipping and tax by the end of August, this is a brand new celebration item that you can pick out for free. So you get one each 12 by 12 sheet with this, and you can get that free with a $50 order. Oh, hi, Jenna. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so I wanted to show you those in case you hadn't seen those. So this is a really good deal. And there are some other new celebration products that came out last week. So make sure that you um, look down below. I've got a link to my celebration page. And that'll, uh, that way you can find out everything you can get free during the, the rest of August. It started in July and then we got new things in August. So it's really fun. Okay, now, first off, I'm going to show you some specialty paper that I'm using on the first card. We are using more foils. How many of you have the Splendid Day DSP? Oh, hi, Debbie. Oh, I always said hi to you. Oh, yeah, you're in Minnesota. Oh, is it a lovely day? Good. Kind of cloudy and rainy here, but I think we're supposed to have a pretty day tomorrow. Okay, so I love this paper. This is a Splendid Day specialty paper. As you can see, it's foils. But on the other side, it is double-sided like all our other DSP. So there's just a regular side with some, not shouldn't say just, there's a regular side with a pretty design on it as well. And it's in the, um, oh, the July to December mini catalog. It's near the back of it. So just look up for the Splendid Day Suite. So I wanted to show you this, but isn't that gorgeous? This is the copper. All the colors on this are Calypso Coral, Copper, Fresh Freesia, Petal Pink, Pool Party, Sahara Sand, and Soft Sea Foam. Wrote those down. Believe me, I did not memorize them. <laughs> so there's that side. But the neat thing with this paper, some of the foils are in colors. They told us when they started designing this paper, they were just going to do regular foils and they started having fun with all the colors. They thought, Ooh, we're going to add this. Oh, hi, Barb from Illinois. And then we've got, um, so this is that, uh, Splendid Day specialty paper. So we've got this here. Let me turn this over and here's the pattern side to that. So this is probably pool party and this is soft sea foam in foil. Isn't that pretty? Hope the video is doing it justice. It's, it's hard to show foil on a video. This one must be the Sahara Sand, because it doesn't say silver. It's not quite silver. It's definitely that pretty Sahara Sand. And then the other side is like a weave. Okay. Then we have Fresh Freesia. One of my favorite purples. Oops, sorry. My cord for my microphone's getting in the way. Isn't that pretty? I love the Fresh Freesia color. And then we've got pretty Fresh Freesia design on here. Then we've got... And isn't this paper beautiful? I love it too. When I stop, it's because I'm reading a, a comment. <laughs> this one, I would say this must be Sahara Sand too. So that's really pretty. I love, these are the, this is a type that you can cut in half and then cut it in fourths or thirds, I mean, four inches, and you can make it as a card front. 
And you can also just cut it in half and put this as a border of a uh, oh, scrapbook page. A lot of different things you can do with this. I love the little bees they put on there. And here's the other side to that. And then we've got this one. This one's copper. So this is another one that you can cut in half. Hi, Colette from Missouri. I'm glad you're here. And then we've got this side here. And this one's a little hard to see. There you go. So that's Calypso Coral. And there is Petal Pink. So that'd be the Petal Pink probably in the background. Okay, I love when Stampin' Up! puts some different colors together. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I don't know if I would have put that together, but then when I see it, oh, oh good, I'm glad I'm tempting you, Debbie. <laughs> I love that paper. We had we got to get it during um, on stage at home uh, last November, and I was so glad to get it. I really, I'm, is it last November? No, I take that back. It was on, we have so many events going on. <laughs> we had on tour, that's what it was in April. Now, this is going to be the second card, but I didn't want to have to get, we, this, uh, my workspace is going to be a mess here in a minute. So we're going to look at all the papers now before I start getting all the card making going. This one is a host set. And I didn't know if, if you've ever looked in the catalog, a lot of times you can't see all the papers in the host set especially. So this is in the annual catalog. It's called Design a Daydream Host DSP. And whenever you place a $150 order before shipping and tax in the U.S., or if you host a workshop and get up to at least that, you can use your Stampin' Rewards dollars that you earn to get this paper for free. This is a gigantic pack. There are 12 designs. In the Splendid Day one, it's uh, 12 sheets, and you get two of each design. There's six double-sided designs. You get two of each. This one has 48 pieces of paper. So you've got 12 designs, four of each design. So it's a big, thick paper. But I went ahead and just got the ones out. This is one of the ones I'm using on the card. I thought a lot of you probably haven't seen this yet, and I didn't want you to miss it. And this one, you've got till the end of April to get. Or unless they sell out, and they'll keep having it, uh, re resupplying it throughout the year. But then when it, the retired list comes out, then it'll be while supplies last. And the colors in this one are Blackberry Bliss, Daffodil Delight, Mint Macaron, Old Olive, and this was Petal Pink. I had a feeling that was Petal Pink, this one here. And Pool Party. Love Blackberry Bliss, isn't that pretty? And I love how some of the pages look totally different because not all the colors are represented on each piece. So you've got so many different things that you can do. Here's the other side. So a lot of really neat designs. I like the bicycle side. That's pretty cool. I haven't used that one yet in this one here. But I'm going to be using it with the Hippest Hippos uh, stamp set because I thought I could make a real cute card with this. Oh, I like this one too. A lot of little pinwheel type things. We've got this one here. I'm using this one on my card, too. And that old olive polka dot one I showed you a minute ago is being used, too. We've got kites. I'll go a little faster here so we can get to the cards. I get to looking at the paper and talking and start going too slow, but I want to make sure you see everything. That's got some pretty flowers on it. A nice stripe. Ooh, this one's pretty, too. I love the colors. Nice and bright. But I have to admit, the host papers they have had, I've shown the Christmas or the a uh, seasonal one that was in the holiday catalog. It's not just Christmas. It covers Halloween and stuff. That was in a past live. I can't remember which one, but I can put a link to that in the video description once the video is over if you want to see those if you missed that one. But you can see all the host papers in that one. And there's some birds. So that is the uh, Design a Daydream host to DSP. Okay, we are all done looking at paper. Are you ready to make some cards? I know I, know I am here. Oh, I know my voice went away, but I had to get that out of the way. <laughs> Okay, first off, we are going to start, actually, I want to give my upline credit. These two cards, she does a try it class and with a bunch of different layouts. And uh, she wanted us to, I did the class with her on Zoom. She does it with her team. And then um, she gave us a, P a PDF with all of the card designs and said to make a layout, make some cards with some of those layouts, make them totally different. Well, I used two of her layouts. And this one showcases a lot of those foils in that splendid day. Actually, all four of the regular colored ones, not the ones that you can cut in half for uh, big pieces, but the ones that had the designs at the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to grab, let's see, what do I want to do first? Let's do some stamping first. So I'm going to grab a basic, a piece of basic white. This one happens to be a, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one, uh, five and a half by three and a half inch piece. And I will grab this stamp here. Oh, let me show you the stamp set. I even said this um, in my future post that'll pop up about half an hour after the, well, about an hour after the video. 
this is uh, the Splendid Thoughts bundle that's in the Splendid Day Suite. And um, I love how this works. And I'm going to be using these two in just a minute. So these are the two stamps I'm using and the Let's Celebrate. And let me get my dies out that I'm going to need. I'm going to need this one. And I'm going to need this one. And I already used this one and this one. I die cut these ahead of time because I don't need to do those during the video. And I am using my go-to die set. Those of you who watch my videos may be getting tired of seeing these, but I love them. <laughs> this is, these are the, um, oh, and I just went blank on the name, Stylish Shapes dies. I think these are unavailable right now, but they should be getting a shipment in, I think, by the end of the month. It's real popular. So I'm going to be using the, uh, let's see. Oh, I already used it. That's right. I'm using the number four circle die. One, two, three. So this one right here I used. And then I am going to be using the second smallest uh, banner die. So I will get that out because I will need that for the card. And let's go ahead and get started. I always like to show you all of that in case you want to make these cards later. You can always come back and watch the recording and make the cards with me if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to grab Smoky Slate. This is one of the um, colors. I think this is one of the colors. No, it's not. I just thought it looked good. That's right. <laughs> you can definitely add colors. You don't have to go exactly with what's in the um, uh, designer series paper. I'm going to use my smoky slate. The black I thought was going to be just too dark, and I thought this would be nice to do the smoky slate. So I'm just going to stamp this right here. Now, with um, this one, well, while we've got the gray out, let me grab my small piece. This one is a two and three quarter by one and a half. I'm going to do the let's celebrate. And I'll put this near the middle because we're going to die cut this out with that little banner die I had a minute ago. So now I can put this away. Now I'm going to grab my soft sea foam. Please let me know if you have trouble hearing me. Sometimes I get away from my microphone. I just put it up closer to my face. So hopefully you can understand me. Yeah, isn't that a neat die set, Jen? I, I think you're talking about the style of shapes. I love it too. I'm going to do my soft sea foam now. I'm going to show you. As you can tell, there are more leaves than what are in here, okay? I'm gonna stand up here so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just, it doesn't line up perfectly. I'm kind of doing this center one here, like, trying to line it up with this one right here. So I'm gonna stamp that. And because I'm die cutting this, I didn't like a lot of these being um, with no color at all. So I'm gonna kind of angle this center one with this one here and get some more in there. And this is still a little too white. So I'm just going to, I know it looks terrible right now, but it is going to look so neat when we're done. There we go. So I've still got a little bit of white in the background. I'm fine with that, but most of my leaves are colored in now. So that's, I'm going to leave it like that. We're done with the soft sea foam, I think. Wait a minute here. Oh, no, we're not. We're doing the inside of the card. Let me grab my inside. And I want to make sure I remember to do this. I have so many times in videos when I do a horizontal card, I forget I'm doing a horizontal card, do my inside like this. Do it all the time. Glad I didn't forget. When it's recorded, it's no big deal. I can just go back and cut another piece. During a live, it kind of messes things up. So I'm going to bring this uh, basic gray back in. And I'm only going to do a partial of this one here. Okay. Just actually, well, you know what? I think I want to do a little more than that. I did a little more on my first one. I like to, I want to show a little more leaves. So let's pick the best looking one here. That's why we have two sides to paper. You can use the other side. Oh, that's much better. Now I'm going to grab my leaves. And while I'm getting ready to stamp this, I do want to tell you with comments, if I miss your comment, I will come back and answer them. Sometimes when I get to stamping, I end up missing some comments. And I hate, I don't want to miss them. So I will come back. Those of you on YouTube, one thing I wish YouTube would change on the live chat. Oh, that worked out fine. I don't think I'm going to need to put that all closer so you can see it. I think that colored it in just fine, so I'm not going to add any more. That'll, that works good. But um, on YouTube with the live chat, it goes away, and I can't comment once the video's over. So what I'll do, if you have a question and I wasn't able to answer it during the video, look, come back to the uh, main video page on YouTube and look at the comments there, and I will answer them, and I'll pin it. try to pin it near the top. I can't remember how many I can pin. But you'll find your answer. I'll put, put your name down. That way you know where your answer's at. But on Facebook, it's real easy. I just have to comment real quick. Okay, so this one, no more stamping. Yeah, we've got all the stamping done. So let's move this out of the way till the next card. Now I've got to bring in 
my die cutting machine. Oh, this is always tricky because I always get it caught in my microphone. There we go. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and do the die cutting first. So with die cutting, it's the base plate, the die plate, and a standard cutting plate. This one's starting to warp on me. I probably should have gotten another one. And we will grab this. And I'm going to put this one on this side. So I just wanted a white one. And then this one goes on here. Get these all lined up. I'm lining up the uh, outline, not the, the uh, green part. And there's a little hole here. I want to make sure I see that uh, smoky slate in there, and I do. That way I know I have it lined up pretty good. Uh, let's see, I don't know. If, oh, I think I can. Good. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to do them all at the same time. Now I'll put the Let's Celebrate here. Oh, and by the way, the tape I am using, in case you're new, because I use this all the time, this is called Post-it Tape. And I got it on Amazon. It's actually, um, oh, I can never remember the name of it. Now I don't see where, oh, there it is. This is what it looks like. It's labeling and cover-up tape. And this is the one inch. Oh, hope I got on the screen. So that's what I use. You can also use washi tape, but the post-it tape comes off so much easier. I don't have to worry about it tearing up my paper. So now I'll run this through. And now we've got this neat, oops, see if I can get a hold of it. Yeah, I need to get a new <laughs> cutting plate and get too many cuts in there. Let's see how easy, it still works though because all those little pieces came out. So there's my white piece there. And then we'll have this one. And I now you'll get to see how neat it looks. It just gives that two-tone effect with all of that green. But isn't that neat? That works out just fine. You can't look like a mess on here, but it looks really good once you uh, die cut it. And I do like having a little bit of that white still showing. Just not too much. So we'll get that out of the way in our greeting. And I do believe this is all I need to die cut. So there we go. And I don't think we have to do any embossing. Okay. So we will get this out of the way. Get my dies over here so I don't lose them. Oh, it's hard to stay organized. Okay. This, oops, I just hit my microphone. Okay. It's always awkward to move that thing during a live. Okay, there we've got our inside. We've got the card base. This is a piece of soft sea foam. It is five and a half by eight and a half. And let me grab my bone folder here. I always line up those corners. You can also score it. If you want to score it, you want to score it at um, four and a quarter with eight and a half inch side along the top. So there's my card base. I'm going to have to fold on top. Let's go ahead and put the inside in since I've got it here. Grab my seal. And nobody's going to see my little, the one I didn't like as much because it's going to be covered up. And our cardstock is thick enough, nobody is going to see through it, which I love. I've bought cardstock other places before I knew about stamping up, and it wasn't as good as this stuff. Here we go. So now we've got this here. Now I'm going to grab, let's see. Okay, we'll put this to the side. We're going to do the Sahara sand piece. This is a five and a quarter by four. And I'm going to grab all of this designer series paper if I can get a hold of it. There we go. I'm using the soft sea foam, Sahara sand, fresh freesia, and the copper ones. But I wanted to have like a little banner thing here. So I'm going to show you a trick. It's a little too wide for our banner. We've got a build a banner punch, I think is what it's called. This was just a little too wide. It's one and a quarter by three and three quarter. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take a little slip, snip, I mean, right in the middle. Okay. And then I'm going to start at this corner and end at the top of that slit I just made. Because what I did. If you don't do that little slit, you're going to end up, this is going to look cockeyed. It just, oh, this is going to look cockeyed. There you can see that a little better. So now I'm going to go from the corner again, line it up and cut. And there I've got my banner. It's not perfect, but it's a whole lot better if I hadn't done that little center snip. So I'm going to hurry up and do that. I'm going to pick the side. Really, I don't think it matters. Let's do this one. If the design is uh, going a certain direction, make sure you don't do it upside down. I think on most of these, it really doesn't matter, the ones I'm using today. Corner to corner. I probably could have cut some of these before. I thought, oh, that way you get it 
can see it done a couple, a few times bef unless you, if you haven't done this before. A lot of you probably already know how to do this, but I never know if I've got some new people out there. And sometimes I still, I've been doing this for a long time, but I will still, you know what, I'm going to do this. I see a little bit of a ladybug right there. I don't know if you see that. <laughs> I don't want to cut that off, so we're going to come down here. And I'll cut this. Oh, I made that one a little taller, but that is okay. Because that's one thing I kind of liked having the banners all look just a little bit different. So now we've got that. Oops. And I could have used other sides. Like I like this side too, but I just really wanted to show off those foils. So like I said, this is a great layout to show off all of those foils. So I'm going to lay these down. It's actually easiest to do the ones here on the outside first. So I'm going to take my copper one. Where did I put my seal? There we go. Oops, and I saw some loves there pop up on uh, Facebook. I'm glad you're liking it. <laughs> I love to see those. I have to admit, Facebook makes those look kind of cool and they all start flying up in the air. Okay, so we've got the copper, and then I'll put the soft sea foam on here. Oops. Oh, I didn't cut that adhesive very good. There we go. I kind of pulled it down too much. Oop, I still didn't get that one going. Now I'm going to angle. Now, what I'm doing, I'm kind of looking at the top side and the bottom, kind of looking like it's about the same width of the Sahara sand there. And then I can put these down. They're going to go right up against each other. And if they overlap, that is fine. So I'm going to take my Sahara sand one. Good. Now this piece is working good. I just messed that up er earlier. I'm going to put that right up against it. And like I said, the overlap, that is fine. And then, like if you did one and a half width, you could definitely have these overlap and it would look really neat. Okay, so there we've got that. So isn't that cool? I really like that. It's a neat background. And it's a good way to use up those thin, they're not real thin strips, but any uh, scraps you might have. And I always love using up my scraps. Okay, I'm going to use some ribbon here. Oh, there's good. There's my other one. I almost lost one. This is pretty soft seafoam. I love this green. Uh, this is the Soft Sea Foam Seam Binding Ribbon that's in the Splendid Day Suite. This one is my 7-inch piece, so that's going to go right across the top here. So I'm going to put a little adhesive here, put it on each end. You could use glue dots, too, if you wanted to. And you could also put a little adhesive here on the back and then wrap the ribbon around. I'm going to go near the top, still have a little bit of the foil show right here. I'll go right across. Okay, then let's go ahead and put this on the card base. You always want to get that ribbon on first and then put it on your card base. That is so easy to forget. There have been so many times I have, another story, just almost done with my card and realized I forgot the ribbon and then I had to rip something off and it didn't come off very well. Thankfully, our seal does come up pretty good within the first 10 minutes. Then it's on permanently. So that has helped it out. But back in the past, we had our old adhesive I ruined quite a few pieces of paper. <laughs> okay, now this is a five inch piece. And I do this because whenever I wrap ribbon completely around here and tie it in a knot, I can never get it to look right. Sometimes I can, but I think this is easier and it also uses a little less ribbon because you've noticed the ends of these stopped about right here. So about this much ribbon isn't uh, being used. So I saved a little bit. Now I can just tie this on with a um, single knot. You can use a double knot. I, when it's on here, all you need is a single knot, though. It's going to stay on and just kind of play around with it till you've got it angling the way you want it to. Get my scissors out. We'll trim this, these at an angle. Okay. Now we're going to start putting uh, some of the things we die cut. So I'm get all of these out here. I am going to put dimensionals on this. And I'm just going to put some mini dimensionals on here because I'm going to be tucking some plants in there. So let me see if I got, oh good, I was afraid I didn't have my minis over here. And I'm just going to put one here in this corner, this top corner, and then one down here at the bottom. I'm going to leave this top part open because I want to be able to put that in there. Oh, hi Jan from Pennsylvania. I think it says Jan. I need to get new glasses. <laughs> Hopefully I said that right. Okay, so we've got this here. Oh, where'd I put my 
Oh, there it is. Take your pick tool. You don't need to have this. I have just gotten in the habit of using this. I just scoop the papers off. They go on here and I can just take them off and throw them away. Because I would always drop them and they'd be all over my house. So I'm going to take, ooh, let's do this first. I forgot this. We're going to take this circle. Because when I first started putting this plant on, I wasn't going to originally use this circle. But it, the foil, well, there it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> but the foil kind of, uh, it was just a little too much. So I wanted to have a little bit of a background to this. So let's go ahead and put some adhesive on here. I'm going to put this about right here. I'm, I'm just going to lay it here before I press it down completely. I want to make sure I didn't put it down too low because this is going to go. Actually, that's pretty good. I think I'll even bring it down a little farther. Okay, we'll push that down. And then I'm going to put this here at the bottom. So the circle is going to kind of look like it's inside of the um, pot. Okay. Now we are going to take. This, I'm going to grab my silicone mat here. And with this one, I can, with I don't have to put glue on this whole thing. I could have used adhesive sheets. But what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here in these big areas. Ooh, this one's coming out all too fast. But that's okay. Let me show you a trick. That was That's too much of a glob. I know right when I put that on my card, it's going to ooze out. So I'm going to go up in this corner and take a little bit of that glue off. There we go. Still have plenty of glue on there, and I can peel that off later once it dries. I love the silicone mat. So I'm going to put this inside here, kind of angle it a little bit. And I like these not being glued because it kind of looks more like a plant that way. Okay, so we've got that on there. We're going to do the same thing with this one. This is one I die cut uh, earlier, and it's with that silver foil. That's with that mat. So I thought it. That was a nice color to kind of go along with this. So let me grab my glue again. Hopefully it won't come out as fast. Well, it's coming out. It's like the first one wants to come out too fast, but I'm just putting on a couple little places, more on the stem there. Take a little bit off there again. I'm gonna put this one on this side. I'm even gonna have a little bit of the, that hang over the side of the um, oh, pot. There we go. And now this one, I want to pop this one up with dimensionals. So I'm going to grab my minis again. And we'll put, this one's probably going to take a few more minis. I might have been able to use uh, the regular size ones, but a couple of these places are kind of small. So I thought I would just keep it with, well, I think we'll put one there. There, that should be good. Keep it with all the minis. Take all these paper backings off. And we are almost done with this card. I just need to put this on and the greeting, and we'll be done with the first card. Now, I promise you it is quick with me having to explain a bunch of things. I made it go a little bit longer, but this one didn't take me long at all to make. And I'm fine with it going over my uh, ribbon. I actually like that look. So there we've got that all on there. Now we've got our this little guy, and I'm going to have it on here. I don't want a dimensional on both sides. I need one over here to keep this to be the same height as this. So I'll turn this over and we will put, I'm going to go ahead and put a big one, regular sized one right here. And then I'm just going to put regular, let's close this up, put regular seal on this end. And this is the end that's going to go on here because I don't want that side raised up. Oh my goodness, I did the wrong side. Okay, see, that's sometimes it's okay to mess up because then I can show you how to fix it. I had a funny feeling when I did that. Okay, I want it on this side. Now I will put the adhesive over here. See, it's easy to fix. Thank goodness. And then we'll put this right here. There we go. I knew that was going down too hard. <laughs> so there we go. So there's the first card. Get to shove all those foils, and you can definitely use this layout on so many different stamp sets. You can make a Christmas card, a lot of different things. Okay. Oh, good. I'm glad you're liking it, Ann. Oh, thanks, Audrey. <laughs> I've been doing this a long time, and teaching must be in my blood because my oldest daughter, she's now oh, 31. That shows my age. But she's a fifth grade uh, teacher, so she maybe runs in the blood. Okay, so I will go ahead and put this to the side. And don't forget, if, um, even 
those of you that are commenting here live, you will get put in the drawing to get the cards I'm making today too. So you, you get two chances, but you only can win one prize per video. And then um, those of you that are watching the recording, because I know some of you are watching a recording, you get, will be put in as long as you comment, because I only know that you're, you're watching the video if you comment. Facebook and YouTube, don't let me know, see everybody that's watching. Okay, let's go ahead and get going with this fun fold card. Now, I've this was one that um, my upline had in her class, but I've done this for um, one of my online classes myself. So I'm this one's not new to me. It's called the uh, front flap, front flap fun fold card. Say that three times fast. <laughs> and it is going to be using, oh, here we go, the hippest hippos. This is one of the celebration sets uh, that you can get free with a $50 order. Oh, thanks, Kathleen. Glad you like that. And then we've got amazing phrasing. So this one is free with a $50 order before shipping and tax. This one, because it's such a big stamp set, this one you can get free with a $100 order before shipping and tax. And I, I love the font on this. You pair them up with things, and I'll be doing that here in the card. The ones I'm using, I'm using Hey and the um, You Did It. I think that's the one I used. Yes, I had to look at my card. You did it. So those are the two I'm using there. And then with this one, I'm using your Always on Point and the little girl, the ballerina. Okay. But normally I would use the um, hippo dies that go uh, that coordinate with this. And let me show you these. I'm not using these because we have been told that these are on low inventory right now and they're afraid they might sell out before the end of August. So if you want these, make sure you get them. Thankfully, they're still available. I looked right before the video. So if you uh, want to get these, make sure you place that $50 order soon before they're gone. Oh, thanks, Margaret. I'm glad you like the card. But I love all the little added things you can do, like little waves, a little boat, glasses, scuba deer, a lot of different things you can do with these hippos. So if you want these dies, make sure you get them quick. The stamp set will probably last a little, little bit longer, but the dies, when they're gone, they're gone. So, but just to be on the safe side, because I made this card last week, I decided not to use the dice. So if you end up not getting them, you can still make some really pretty cards, cute cards with this set. Okay. Then I am also using these again. <laughs> I'm using, the, I use the largest one. I already die cut that out. And then I'm using the second largest one. And that's actually the only die I'm using. Normally I use a lot more dice than that. So let's go ahead and get some stamping done. I'm even going to be brave and color here on a, a live, but that's okay because it's not going to take that long. This one is a piece of basic white. It is a three by three piece. I'm gonna use my Memento ink pad and my little hippo. These hippos are so adorable, I love them. And I'm using uh, Memento because I'm gonna be using Stampin' Blends. I did do a card with this watercoloring with watercolor pencils. And if you missed that, I will put a link to that in my uh, description below too. I didn't think to do that until just now. But that one I watercolored with our watercolor pencils. I wanted to show you how you can do it with our Stampin' Blends too. So I'm using both the Pool Party. I'm only using the light petal pink and then both of the Smoky Slate, okay? Now, one thing, I don't know if all blends are like this, but the ones I have are like this. Oh, you haven't used them yet, Debbie? Oh, the hippos are so cute, I love using them. Okay, now th with our blends, we've got a brush tip and uh, more of a writing tip, okay? Now, the lighter, the writing tip, the, the smaller one, actually colors lighter than the brush tip. So I'm actually going to get a few, to oops, looks like it's leaking a little bit. I'm gonna get some tones here. So what I'm gonna do, oops, hold on a minute. I just lost, there we go. Good, it's still going. My computer decided to shut off on me for some reason. Okay, so I've got my basic gray. I'm gonna start with this. Wherever I want some shadowing, I'm just, I'm using the brush tip. I'm gonna use the dark smoky slate. So probably underneath where her face is. Oops, sorry, I'm getting uh, a little bit under here, her tummy over her feet, or her body actually, her tummy's right here. And then we'll just put a little bit under the skirt because the skirt would make a shadow. And I think that's all I did. Yeah, that's all I did. And then I'm gonna use my light smoky slate with the brush tip. I'm gonna color these in real quick and I'm going over the dark um, to blend them in. So right now I'm just blending them in just a little bit, not a lot, because I want it to dry a little bit. It dries really fast since they're alcohol-based. 
and then I can go back and blend because I'll see how much I need to blend after the uh, they dry a little bit because they do lighten up a little. So we've got that. I'm not going to do her schnoz, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> her big mouth and nose, her snout. There we go. That's the word I was trying to think of. And I'm just doing all this with the light smoky slate. And then with her snout, I was wanting it to be lighter than the rest of her. So I started playing around and that's when I realized, oh, that tip does do a lot lighter. So I'm going to go over here because those these do need blended a little bit. So I'm just going to blend right where the two shades meet. Not the whole thing. So it almost gives it a three tone effect instead of just two. It's the part I'm not going over again at the light smoky slate will stay a little bit lighter. And it will lighten up and blend after it dries. So that helps a little bit. So we've got a little bit of a tone there. Now I'm going to take, let's see, how did I do this? I'm going to, oh, actually, let's take the, still use the brush tip here because I wanted the outer part of the uh, her uh, snout to be a little bit darker than the rest of it. Not much. But I'm still using the light. Just making a little ring around. Okay. And it's okay if it's not a straight line. It really shouldn't be. And now I'm going to take the blunt side and see how much lighter that is. I don't know if you can see that's a lot lighter. And I'll just keep going over it. I'm going to, and it'll lighten up the um, part I did first and just keep going until it bl blends really good. I know I'm making a little swish uh, looks, but this is an alcohol marker. So it's not going to leave lines like the um, uh, regular Stampin' Write markers do. So I'm going over big time. I don't know if you can tell it's starting to lighten up, that ring I just made. But it gives like a little shadow around her snout. Let me keep going here. There we go. I think you can see that. See how you've got a little bit of a darker around there, but see how much lighter the snout is because I used the this tip. So I don't know if it's because mine have, I've had them for a while. I really don't think it is because I have noticed it a few other times it's a little bit lighter. But that smoky slate on mine at least is a lot lighter. So that try that with yours and you can see if you can get a lighter one. But that gave me this lighter snout. And now the pale pink, petal, petal pink, not pale pink. I'm going to do her um, oh tummy. So right under here where her head is, that should be a shadow. Maybe a little bit under her skirt again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use the light tip because my petal pink did the same thing because I wanted a real light pink. Originally, I did uh, the brush on the whole thing and it just, it was too dark, I thought. I like it being just a little bit lighter. I didn't want it to be just plain white. I wanted to have a little bit of color and I'm thinking I might need to get a new marker, but it's definitely blending it in. You can tell that dark is not as dark, but you can't see the pink as well in the video. I can see it in person. Video's not showing it up very well. But yeah, there we go. So now we've got that colored in, and now we just need to color in her skirt. So this one, I'm going to use the brush tip on the whole thing. If you use a very, you really should use a light touch because you can get these uh, frayed really bad if you go too hard. So I'm just lightly, and you can get a nice thin line when you go lightly too, because that tip is nice and uh, narrow. So I'm just going real light. So I don't, I want most of the skirt to be uh, the lighter of the pool party. Okay, so we've got that there. And, oh, I forgot one thing I did. I'm gonna take the brush tip, because I want the darker pink here on, she has to have, she's a ballerina, so she has to have some fingernail polish on those hands of hers. There we go. Now I will go back and grab my light pool party and color in the rest of her skirt, going over the dark pool party just a little bit. And like I did before, I'll come back and blend it a little more. Just give it a chance to dry and I'll see what needs to be uh, blended more. And then her little shoes need a little blue too. We want those to match her skirt. Okay, and really that blended pretty good. I don't need to do a couple of places I think I need to blend. But there, we've got him, her, I mean, all colored in. Let me get a little closer so you can see it. But there she is, and she's adorable. Okay, I'll well, make sure all of these are closed because they are alcohol-based, and we don't want those drying out. 
and this is going to be die cut. Let's go ahead. I'm going to grab, get all the stamping done first, if I can find all my pieces. Got one more piece here. This is just a little piece. that I'm going to stamp the word hay. And it's with a pool party. This is from that amazing phrasing stamp set. Oh, and I've said this before in videos. I just found this out, so I've been making sure everybody knows. With this one, see how it's got a lot of, it's um, solid. They're solid letters. Sometimes with the photopolymer, they may not stamp really good, and you kind of have to condition them. And I found this out. If you stamp them in Versamark first, now this part I don't know if you have to do, but I always let the uh, Versamark ink soak in a little bit, so I'll wait maybe 30 seconds or so, clean it, and then the ink coverage with the other colors is so much better after that. I couldn't believe how much better it was. So now I've got the hay on there. Let's grab the inside of the card. This is a four by five and a quarter inch piece. Let's go ahead and I forgot, we need to put this on before I do uh, the inside stamping. So I, let's grab my stampin' seal, where'd I put it? I'm probably looking right at it. Oh my goodness. Here, we'll grab this one. <laughs> That's, oh, now I see it. I threw it underneath my lights over here. We'll just use this one. Thankfully, I've got my little cart with all my other things in it. So in case I do that, I can have a backup. And then we will put this right here on the side. And there is one more thing we're gonna have to stamp after we die cut, but that's okay. I just remembered. So we will keep that there. I'm gonna grab the, you were always on point, or you're always on point, using my pool party. I'm gonna stamp this right up here. This is a rubber stamp set, so I don't have to have my stamp and pierce mat. I like that better, but that actually did just fine. So that's the inside. Now, let's go ahead and, I have to think sometimes. Okay, we're gonna get the die cutting machine out quick. So let me grab that. This thing doesn't seem that heavy until I'm doing videos and I have to get it from the side. <laughs> it's not that hard to pick up other ways, but when it's up toward the side, it's a little harder. Let me get this in the screen. Okay, once again, we're just die cutting. So I've got it all set up, the base platform, die plate, standard cutting plate. We're gonna grab our little ballerina and grab the second largest circle from the stylus shapes. Once again, I'm gonna use that tape because I do not want that moving. And this is the only thing we need to die cut since I already did the background circle for her. We'll take this off here and get a hold. Oops, there we go. I started to tear that a little bit. That doesn't happen very often, but at least it's the outside. I don't care about that. So now we've got our little girl. Let's go ahead and get the die cutting machine out of the way. Okay, and oops, let's see, what do we want to do? Oh yeah, let's go ahead and get that stamping finished. Grab my stamp and pierce mat. Oh, you know what? I forgot that I needed another circle. You know what? I just won't do it in this video since I don't have any more white paper, and I will show you the uh, what I did. It's the exact same circle size as this, okay? I meant to cut out two of those, so you will need uh, two of these size circles. But I will show you the ending when, uh, once we're done. Okay, so let's grab, okay, I'm done with this. I need to get my cutter out because we're going to do a little scoring. So if you've got the Stampin' Trimmer, the dark blade is the uh, cutting one and this is the scoring one. So we're going to get that cutting one out of the way because I do not want to cut. I'm going to grab a regular half sheet of designer series paper. So it's eight and a half by five and a half. Now, we're going to cut this down first. I forgot about that. So we, I am going to use the cutting blade here just for a second. I could have done this ahead of time, but I wanted to show you how the card base is still a half sheet of paper. You're going to have a strip that you need. So what you're going to do, you want to turn this into a seven by five and a half. So I'm lined this up at seven. And then this is a five and a half by one and a half inch piece. And this is what we need for our strip for our flap. So that works out perfect. So your half sheet does the card base of the card. Now we're gonna get that cutting blade out of the way. And we're gonna score this at three inches. 
So I always go over this a couple times with this. If you use the Simply Scored Scoring tool, once, uh, uh, oh, what's the word? Going down one time is plenty, but with this, I'll go over it a few times. Then we bring the strip in, and this one, we're going to score. Oh, I did that wrong. Ouch. Okay. <laughs> this one is the one that gets scored at three inches. Okay, so we'll do this. I will make this work, this poor card. Okay, we are going to do it two and three quarter, not three inches. So I will try, I think I can still make this work. So this is actually two and three quarter inches. Forget what I told you at the beginning, this is two and three quarter. Yes. If I mean, I thought I did it wrong again. So this is at two and three quarter. This one you do at three inches. Okay, now I will have all of the dimensions and stuff written down on my post. I still have to add a, more, a couple more things to my post, including the video. So come back in an hour or so once the video's over and uh, you'll find the link to that. So that way, if you want to make this card again or another one like it, you can get all the uh, dimensions there. So you don't have to write them all down. Okay, thankfully you don't have to since I messed up. <laughs> Okay, we are done. Yep, we are done with this. So we're going to put this in away. And I'll make sure I fold on the right one. There we go. And where'd my bone folder go? Oh, there it is. Get that nice. And then I'm going to grab a piece of that Design a Daydream host DSP. And that's where that green one came from, too. Like I said, that's all from that uh, host uh, designer series paper I showed you at the beginning. So this one is a two and a half by five and a quarter. And I'm gonna just attach that to this section here. Well, get this going again. Sometimes when you've used one a lot, the seal, you'll get a lot of uh, the adhesive that kind of gets stuck in here and sometimes that messes the wheel out up. So just after this is over, I'm probably gonna go and take my finger, take it apart and get some of that adhesive out of there. If you ever have that problem, that can help too. So I'll put this right here in the center. And I wanna grab this strip. Now, I think it's a little easier to know which one that you're going to, you wanna have, because this is gonna be folded like this. The longer one is the one that's gonna show on the front, okay? But the easiest way to do this, once you, um, well, no, I forgot, I, I changed something, Never mind. I had originally done one that filled up this whole rectangle, and I got to thinking, I really don't need to, because I'm gonna be, covering up a lot of this with my circle, with my hippo. So this is just a piece of one and a half. I'm sorry, take that back. This one, is, yeah, it is one and a half by one and a quarter. I had gone with three inches or two and three quarter. So I'm going to save this much DSP. I know it's not that much, but I can make two cards now out of that one strip I would have used with this. So I always try to save paper. We can use it longer that way. So what I'm going to do, I can fold it so I can see the score line a little better. And just get all the way here to the right, making sure that the, the daffodil delight yellow color border is about the same on the top bottom and this right side here. Okay. And we'll turn this over. And you can use regular seal. I'm going to use, if I can get it out of here, my Stamp and Seal Plus. I want something that's just a little bit stronger. So I'm just going to put it right across here. Wait a minute, am I thinking right? Yes, I am. Yay. Okay, so the side that the DSP is on is the side that you're going to put your adhesive. So I'm just going to put, oops, that didn't work very well. It is very humid in here. I had to turn my dehumidifier off, and I think the paper got a little too moist. You know what? It worked on the other side. We're just going to use regular seal on this side because that won't happen. I have noticed that happens. If your room is humid, sometimes the paper will get a little humid and that seal plus is so strong sometimes it tear, takes a little layer off your paper but we're we're good now I'm going to put this right here I'm lining up the score line with the edge of the card base but I'm going to try to get it as close to the center as I can like I've said before this is handmade it doesn't have to be perfect so I'm going to put that right there and then to hide this right here oh hi Judy I'm glad you're here I just saw your comment now I'm going to put, um, oh, Debbie, good. Thank, I'm glad you like that tip for solid stamps. I just figured that out. I think I'd heard somebody say that a long time ago, and then I thought, thought of it a couple weeks ago because I had a stamp that wouldn't work right. As soon as I put that verse mark on it, it worked great. So now we're going to cover this up with this. 
There we go. So that looks a lot better, doesn't it? Rather than having that yellow strip there. So there's the inside. So we've got that here. Now we just need to put our little hippo on. Now I could have just gone with the white, which is fine, but because of all the white that's in this paper, I thought it needed a mat. So that's why I used the next size circle. So this is the largest circle in the stylish uh, shapes. So we will put her right here. And right here in the center. And now I know I'm gonna be putting her here. So what I'm gonna do, where the, just the yellow is at, that's where I'm gonna put my adhesive. And I'm gonna make it a square all the way across here because I don't want that falling off. But if I put it there, I know I'm covering up that yellow and that will be enough to hold this circle on and I don't have to worry about any of the adhesive going too far on my circle because we don't want that to uh, close on us or be glued shut. There we go, that's the word I wanna say. So I just push that down. And now we've got that on. Now, let me show you. Oh, take that back. We've got one more thing to put on here. We need our hay. And I wanted it to show from the front. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to put it down here. Let me go ahead and close this and make sure I've got it down far enough. Yep, that works. And it's going to go right across that designer series paper strip. Oops. If it'll come off my finger. <laughs> there we go. So now we've got our hay. And then when you open this up, it's supposed to look like this, since I forgot to die cut another white circle and have the you did it. So you're gonna open it up, hey, you did it. And then you open up this, you're always on point, and then you can put your name inside. So that's how it's supposed to look when it's totally done. Oh, and I also added some glossy dots. These are in the annual catalog. First, I wanna show you a, almost a full pack. I, used all my pool party ones in a stamp camp a few months ago. So that's the, what the, all the colors are. It's Gorgeous Grape, Melon Mambo, I think, Daffodil Delight, and Pool Party. And now this is what I'm going to use because I don't want to open that one up again. Get my take your pick tool. I'm going to use the putty side. Get this one over to the side. And there are three different sizes, and I'm going to use all of them. I'm going to put a big one, if I can get a hold of it right let's put it right about here yeah i'm going to take a small one because i thought she needed one on here and then i'm going to put the medium sized one here on my little strap and you can add more if you want to i just thought it gave it a little bit bit of bling so i will go ahead and swap these out i will add this to the people who uh, get in the drawing to win the card so you'll have it actually say the you did it, but I thought that was neat having this at, hey, you did it, and then you're always on point. So I hope you enjoyed today's cards. Let me grab, if I can find it. Oh, there it is. My first card. So this one is real easy, and really, this is an easy fun fold. So if you want to make a fun fold, that's a really easy one to do. And like I said, I've got all of the dimensions in my post, and that will probably be up. Let's see what time is it. It's about four o'clock. Between 5 and 5.30, I should have that post all done and up for you. So you can you can come back and find the link there. And don't forget, everybody, and I've got quite a few, thank you guys, um, that have commented. I know you're watching the video, so now I can put your name in my drawing to get these. So everybody watching live will get in the put, drawing for this. I will put all your names in that little spinning wheel I did at the beginning of the video. And uh, that will draw the winner, and I will come back and post by let's say uh, 4.30, I'll have um, the winner. So come back to my Facebook page and you can um, see who won. And if you're watching on YouTube, if you're not on Facebook, go to my YouTube channel and click on the communities tab and it'll be the first post under the communities tab saying who the winner was. And then you can contact me, either clicking the contact me link below or on Facebook, you can message me your uh, mailing address and I'll get it mailed out to you. So let's go here. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Oh, I do want to tell you real quick, uh, those of you that watched my uh, last video, I talked about um, the, uh, oh, paper pumpkin. Well, I'm having trouble with words today. <laughs> the paper pumpkin. And we talked about the next one, which is a sunflower. If you love sunflowers, and I do, I can't wait to get this one. You've only got till tomorrow. And tomorrow is my uh, second daughter's birthday, 29 years old. So April 10th, kind of special. It's also the last day that you can um, sign up 
to get that kit. And then after that, there will be a new kit. I don't know what it is yet, but if you want that sunflower one, make sure you sign up. And I've got a link to uh, subscribe down below in the video description. And then I will be back with my next live next Tuesday, uh, August 16th at 3 p.m. And don't forget about my thank you gifts. I've got a link below to that so you can click on that and find out how you can get thank you gifts. And you always get a VIP video and you can see there in the picture. I'm not going to read them all to you. But I've got the two. Uh, oh, then you get supplies for the cards and stuff like that. But there's also you can get adhesive back sequence and gems, which is pictured in the top left of that picture. And you can also get the Whimsical Woodland 3D embossing folder that's in the bottom. So just click on that thank you gift link uh, below in the video description and you can um, get uh, or qualify. Depends on how many orders, because I what I do, I add up all the orders that you place in August and that will determine, so on, August, on um, let's see, September 1st, I will go and add up all your orders before shipping and tax and that'll decide all of the gifts that you get. So they accumulate. So... I hope you had fun. I know I did. I really love having everybody here. And I will see you again on uh, next Tuesday. Bye, guys.